Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's episode of our new Destiny character, we're doing one of the most infamous exotic quests in Destiny history. The Thorn Quest. Now for those of you that remember, we have now done this quest three separate times if you've been playing since Destiny 1 Year 1. We did this quest once in Year 1, then again in Year 3 with a few changes, and then again during Year 2 of Destiny 2. Bungie really likes to reuse this quest, and ultimately each time they were very very similar in terms of their steps. But in this episode, we're doing the Year 3 version, of course, that released with Rise of Iron. And while recording this episode, I ran into countless problems. A total of 9 error codes from the beginning of the quest till the end, and you'll see exactly how they affected our progress. If you go on to enjoy this episode, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more in the future, and be sure to check out the full playlist of this new character series if you've missed any of the previous episodes. We're all the way up to episode 19, and I appreciate all the continued support of this series, and we're definitely going to continue it as we move forward. Now to start this quest, we do need to get randomly a little bit lucky. Turning in Shiro bounties has a chance to drop the first step of the quest, and I remember it took me a decent amount of bounties back in the day, so let's go ahead and knock out some bounties real fast and see if we can't get it to drop. Excuse me, gents. All right, where's she at? All right, I think that's it. Yep. Okay, that's All right, good. let's turn it in. Incoming transmission. Whoa. Encoded. No way. Source unknown. The first bounty of the day. Dude, that is some luck. RNG is on my side today. The encoding is strange. Seems the message came through. After we acquire the Jagged Purpose, we take it to Eris Morn, who sends us to do the Wretched Eye Strike to defeat Kovic, the Devil Splicer's High Priest. And because it wasn't the strike playlist, we had to run it solo, because I don't imagine many people are trying to matchmake for solely this strike. The Splicer's High Priest has crews pushing further underground in the Plaguelands. Looks like a large-scale mobilization against a hive nest. An army of hive controlled by the Splicers would be the end of old Russia. Could be the end of everything. The devils are evolving. Neutralize them before this goes any further, Guardian. What? An error code already? We just started. Dude, I love Shadow Price. I don't think I'm ever taking this fusion rifle off ever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Go throw him. I'm pinging new SIBA energy spikes below us. Multiple nodes, all powering another barrier. But I can't nail down their locations. Oh, dude. <laughs> Galahorn. I know I don't want it to come back to D2, but man. I love this gun. Now things were going pretty smooth until we got another fat error code right at the final boss that forced me to start over from the very beginning. No, dude. Oh my. No. Oh, Bungie. What? The next run again started off strong, but we were slapped in the face with yet another error code.
but third time's a charm, and we ran solo like normal up until the boss, when two people suddenly joined right at the last minute and we killed him just in time before Bungie could toss another error code our way. Almost missed that rocket and blew myself up. A mess. The high priest wasn't looking but we got it. No air codes. We finished the strike finally. To be joined with Siva. The next step was to kill a few hundred fallen in the plague lands, which is a bit of a lame quest step, but I do enjoy patrolling the plague lands. The next step is easily the most tedious and most hated step of the entire quest and that is to obtain 125 void kills in the crucible. Now I didn't have my Night Stalker subclass leveled up at all for this, but we threw it on anyway along with an Adept Word of Crota, a Void Shotgun, and a Void Rocket Launcher. It didn't take as long as I expected, but it definitely was a bit of a slog, especially when this happened four separate times during my matches. Dude, Bungie! Oh my god, guys, fix your servers! No other game besides Destiny 1 and Destiny 2. But after pushing through Bungie's shitty netcode, we finally finished this awful step. Come on, man. Alright, we're just gonna go for it. Oh my god, dude. We got it. Oh man. We weren't quite done with the quest yet though because we still needed to open the strike chest at the end of the Abomination Heist strike. Again, as expected, we loaded in solo. Ooh, anger. Where did you come from? Oh man, I love Nighthawk. Get in there, Guardian. Put the splicers down and end whatever monstrosity the hive are conjuring. You cannot be serious. Oh my fucking god, Bungie. No other game has this kind of problems with their network and net code. Another error code at an absolutely pivotal moment. I had full galley, there was a heavy box next to me, and I just hit the boss with a Celestial Nighthawk shot. It was shaping up to be a pretty solid, quick solo kill, but alas, Bungie seems to hate me. We ran it again, but this time a couple of randoms joined in near the end and managed to clear it without any more disconnects. But don't let up. Kill that ogre to ensure they don't get the chance to claim their prize. There's no heavy bomb. Nice tether. Oh, please. Oh, dude, he's shaking the whole screen. What the fuck? Please. Yes. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> and there's one less abomination we have to worry about. Finally. 
Good work. Oh shit. It's full. This thing sucks. There we go. There it is. The Thorn Quest is a pain in the ass enough, but this time was especially rough with our nine separate error codes, some of which required a full restart of the game. It took much longer than I wanted, but hey, we finally got the Thorn, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.